and welcome to Bees Stable. So today we are filming a day in life. So Sam has got some errands to run today, so I'm down at the yard sorting out ponies. The weather is horrific. So that heat wave we've had, it's not really going to plan, has it? It is currently torrentially pouring down with rain outside. So let's see how we get on with today's video. So the first job this morning for Miss B is to take her hay nets down, empty her and scrub her water bucket, and then I need to muck out her stable. I need to refill her nets and all of that. Now I am the first to admit I'm really lucky with B when it comes to stables. She poos all in the same place and she pees all in the same place, which makes cleaning her stable so much easier than other horses. And yeah, I understand I'm very, very lucky with that because she's such a little gem and she is only a small pony, so she's not quite as messy as some of the bigger horses. So B had been in for one night, so there's not a lot to do in here. It's pretty much a quick fix. Just, you know, scoop out the front and then like hand pick out through the bed. So yeah, I'm very lucky she's a very clean pony. And yeah, I think that's kind of the main first job of the day. Obviously I'm gonna go and help to sort the rest of Sam's ponies, but I kind of thought I'd show you B's because she's my pony and I kind of, I'm not, I don't mind showing you what I get up to. And also this is the first bed of the day, so I'm considerably less sweaty than I will be when I'm on eighth bed. So now her waters are filled, I've put her waters back in her stable and now I'm going to do her hay net and I'm going to move on to the next pony. So I'll be completely honest, I hate filling hay nets with passion and Sam has gone to go and get more hay so we we're on like the last couple of bales but Bee only has one net at the moment because she's just in for short periods of time so we're going to fill that um, today she has this blue one. So that's B's head done, let's go hang it up. So that's B's hanging out ready for this afternoon and evening when she comes in. So Bee's bed just gets poo picked at the moment and then it all gets taken out once or twice a week depending on how often she's been in and how wet her bed is but she's not a particularly wet pony in that bed currently because there's good drainage so it's not too much of an issue. If you've seen any of my previous vlogs back when we had the field shelter you'll know it's kind of a bit different to how I used to do it because she used to be on sand carpet shavings because that was her lammy bed and um, so now she's on a bit of a normal bed it's you know it's relatively easy and quick to work out and yeah that's be stable done and dusted. Now we always joke, is it a jade blog? It was not an outfit of the day. So this is my off the track equine coat. Uh, it says Tranquil River and Old Boy Fang on the front, it has off the track equine on the back. Under my soft shell, I have my pool and pheasant through uh, quarter zip. This is the wine. I love this, I'm obsessed. And then under that, I have my half set base layer. This is, hang on with me. The street, this one, it's one of the big H on it. I love this. And then, would you be surprised if I was wearing anything else but black flexors? I live in my flexors, I always will live in flexors, they are my favourite leggings. And yeah, I am obsessed with the black ones, always have been. These were gifted to me when I worked their trade stall at Christmas. But I love black leggings, and these are the comfiest black leggings I own. So, yeah, is it any surprise? Excuse me, these. Oh, and whilst I remember, I have a so scrunchy scrunchy in. Hang on. Today I have the pink bumblebees in, so yeah, that's kind of my outfit of the day. I hope you like it. I know I normally have an Equalite on, I completely forgot to grab one of the ring at the door because I was filming content for them last night, so all my Equalites were in their little storage bag, which means there wasn't any like on the desk just to grab like normal. So yeah, that's kind of what we're wearing today. The aim was to keep warm because it's quite chilly, especially with the rain. And then all of Bee's rugs live here. Sam does have some of her rugs here, but to be honest, most of these Bee's, Bee's fleece, one of Bee's turnouts. It's not ours, that's her fly rug. That's her turnout that needs to go. That's her current turnout. That's her heavyweight turnout. And that is her rig sheet. So yeah, Bee's rugs are all here currently. So a little update from the floor of Peggy stable. Today was a reminder that I am very much not recovered strength wise yet. Um, I had COVID back in April and um, 
I've not been able to get to the gym as much since because I've still been struggling with my breathing and um, while that seems to be resolved looking out I'm on my third stable and um, my shoulders hurt my back hurts and I think it was very much just a reminder that my general fitness isn't where it was and a reminder that I really need to get back to that that and Sparky and Peggy both poo in huge piles so it's like digging out bricks so yeah tired now I've had some water just keep going I'm doing I'm doing five stables and then Sam's got three when she gets back because she said not to bother with those because they're the worst so yeah just plowing through taking my time not pushing myself because there's no point trying to hurt myself the week before a show and obviously next week we have the dressage at East Bolton so yeah I've got to really look after myself this week so yeah update I was just thinking about what I said then and to be honest I'm also not looking and feeling my best generally at the moment I mean I'm just not picking up particularly on camera but I've got a couple of spots coming through and a couple of my joints have been really achy recently so I've actually got a doctor's appointment next week to speak to the doctor about getting a referral to see if we can find out what's going on and why I'm in so much pain quite as often as I am um so yeah I mean I guess that's kind of the update that I never filmed because the only update was that we're waiting for a referral I keep going. I've got lots to look forward to this summer and I've got to try and enjoy myself. Some of you might be wondering where on earth I've been for the last like two weeks. So I'd filmed loads of content in advance ready for this holiday because I went away and um, I wasn't happy with any of it. So I need to re-edit a load of it, see if I can get any of it to be usable and if not I'm going to have to just sit down and literally refilm. But one thing that was mentioned was a my sports direct haul uh, i bought new trainers because these are now my yard trainers and i think you can see why uh, they have been designated to yard only shoes they um smell of horse from about 100 feet so they're my yard shoes um i bought a couple of new gym sets um as motivation to get back into the gym but obviously i just don't go around to that yet especially being away from sunderland where my gym is um it's just been a bit, a bit of a nightmare um b is moving yards um because she needs to be on a yard where there's less grass um sam's summer field is very grassy and it's just it's not gonna work with b so she's moving in the next couple of weeks i'm 100 sure where to yet um that's still very much up in the air and stressful but We'll see. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that's gonna... Once it's sorted, it'll be sorted and I'll be able to relax. Uh, the only problem is it does double my livery bill. Um, and then some. Just because... I was very, very lucky at the yard I had in Scotland, where obviously I had my sole use yard at 8 acres. I was paying £120 a month for it. Um, offers like that don't seem to exist down here in England. So, yeah, it's a financial strain. However, obviously I have off the track equine, I do my freelance social media marketing and um, influencing. So let's, fingers crossed and hope that that is going to pick up again and that we're going to be able to comfortably get through the winter. Um, obviously doing a full-time degree, working nine till four, well, eight till four, but being out of the house seven till seven. Um, working a normal job is quite difficult um, and I think there's a lot that needs to be done around that um, for degrees like primary education, paramedic sciences, um, nursing where you're out on placement you know all hours of the day because it does really affect your um, job opportunities um, but that's just another university rant and there's a lot going on with uni that I need to rant about but that is a rant for another day for another person so I'm going to crack on with some stables and then I will come back here and join you for some more exciting news so we're sitting in the hay barn and um, the rain has stopped for a bit so I'm just having a minute just to chill out after sorting Peggy so that's three ponies down and two to go Um, I don't know if you can really tell in like on camera but my hair's lightened up a bit because I've been out in the sun a lot um, and I kind of love this time of year when it's this like softer brown colour because um, my hair is naturally dark brown uh, almost black 
Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying that. But I wanted to bring you an update because there's some exciting things going on at the moment and I guess some of you won't know if you don't follow me on Instagram. So, first up, I have very kindly been given a brand ambassador position by GS Equestrian. If you don't already know about GS Equestrian, go and check out the hauls. I will link some up in the eye. But I'm a huge fan of GS Equestrian. I've used them for years since I had Taz. So yeah, check them out. They are a equestrian shopping like platform. They have loads of my favourite brands. Um, it's actually where I bought these um, Farewell by High um, turnout rug, the blue one. So yeah, I do a lot of shopping there. I actually had a haul filmed from there. Um, but the lighting is just absolutely awful. So yeah, I'm kind of back to the uh, drawing board to that one. But you've seen B's rug and you've seen River's... No, B's other rug. That was in... Ooh, I can't remember which video that was in. I'll try and link it up above if I remember. And then what else has happened? Ooh, we have been working with Spillers on a really exciting project about their new balancer. So I'm hoping by the time this video goes up, you will have seen all of that. And if not, I will try and insert the real, um, whichever way it is. I'll try and insert the real that I create because one of the parts of the agreement was I would create a real for them. So that's super exciting. Um, my hair's still growing out. If you watched my vlogs last year, you'll know I did a terrible haircut. Um, and this is kind of the fringy bit that's still growing out. Um, we're almost there. We are so almost there, um, but it just doesn't quite hang right. So I'm so ready for that to be finished. Um, yeah, it's been very annoying filming content and I've just got like these little sticky uppy bits. Um, Cause no matter how I tie my hair, if I have it down here, um, there's a couple that come out here and if I have it up too high, uh, it just, it loses momentum and pops around. So I've, yeah, been filming content for Spillers, which is just crazy. Uh, Rivers on Spillers Senior Mash anyway. So it's a brand that we know and love here. And then, other content we've been filming has been for Equalite, which is again, why, as, as I said before, why I don't have an Equalite on today, because it just got... I forgot it this morning, basically. So, yeah, busy busy, and I think I'm trying to keep busy because I'm worried about money and horses. So when I get worried, I keep myself really busy. Uh, it's not always healthy, and um, I am getting help, and that's kind of important because yeah letting yourself get stressy is just it's not good for me i don't i really don't recommend it so yeah fingers crossed things are gonna go a bit more to plan and um we're gonna be able to bring you some nice fun content for soon um and yeah i guess this is me trying to update you on things that i don't really have an answer on and uh that's hard so So as part of my new brand ambassador position with GS Equestrian, I have a link down below that if you follow, it kind of shows GS that I've sent you if you make a purchase, which is super exciting and I cannot wait to see how that all works out. They did very kindly gift me a cap. I don't have it with me today because I woke up and it was raining. Um, so if I remember, I'll try and include a clip of that uh, at some point in this video. But yes, I'm really excited to be working with them. Um, I have some... Um, Cool things in the background going on for that and i'm hoping fingers crossed that i'm able to film some more content for them very very soon if you watch any of my dressage vlogs my new white leggings that i bought to replace my stolen flexes are actually from gs equestrian they are their silicon seat riding leggings they were about the 20 pound mark they are super comfy and i really 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 like them at the moment um i didn't want sticky bum jobs for dressage it's just not my thing um but they were on prime shipping and yeah they they've been great so far i actually washed them the other day because all of my stuff at the yard got really dirty because it was raining which meant my tack just leached um so my gloves are hit and miss um my shires ones aren't looking amazing my john whittaker ones washed up quite well uh, and my white jods came up perfect and my saddle pad also came up really well so that was the horse with a z um saddle pad and yeah that's kind of this little dressage update so it is friday currently but i'm filming this and i'm hoping this is going to go out on sunday in fact that's future jade's problem is it has to go out on sunday 
Um, but that means that by the time this video goes live, we are on the countdown to Royal International. This year, me and Sam have very kindly been gifted tickets by Higher Question, and we're going to go on the Wednesday. So if you are coming to Royal International on the Wednesday, do come and say hi if you spot us. Uh, there is a 99% chance I'll be wearing Equalite and a blue Bronte. Um, I just need to find where my blue Bronte is currently um, because I got home and I can't actually find my yard coat. So, yes, I think I think I know where it is, though. So, yes, fingers crossed for a very busy few days. Um, by the time this vlog goes live, yeah, it should be Sunday. So, Wednesday is Royal International. Thursday, I'm travelling back to Sunderland. Friday is the Dressage League. And then Saturday, Sunday, I'm back in Cheshire for Prospects Big Weekender. So, yeah, it's all a bit kind of go at the moment. And, yeah, fingers crossed it's going to be a good couple of days. Um, obviously, like I said, it's Friday when I'm filming this. So, tomorrow is the Horse Sense World Fundraiser. So, yeah, my brain is a bit everywhere at the moment because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of information to try and, like, keep in one place and keep it organised, if that makes sense. So, yeah, fingers crossed it's all going to go to plan. And um, I'm going to be able to build, I'm going to be able to film, sorry, a interesting video next week. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to get a Royal International vlog, um, a dressage vlog, and then a prospect vlog. But the prospect vlog is potentially going to end up being more businessy based because obviously it's to do with um, the horse show. So that is that for this little update and the time to get back to mucking out stables. So just quickly, as this is obviously a day in the life video, I'll show you something that makes my day so much easier. This here is the wheelbarrow direct two wheeler. Not only is it bright pink, which is, you know, fun, it is so useful for mucking out, especially for mucking out more than one horse. It saves on trips. I'm going to see how well yeah, so I will take you like round it with the camera now, but yeah, my wheelbarrow, absolute lifesaver. Got it Christmas 2016, so that was, what, six years ago now? It's absolutely perfect, I have no issues with it, and yeah, I love my wheelbarrow. So that is hope done. So that is the four that I'm doing today. Um, it's meant to be five, but I'm just quite slow. So Sam said she'll do Merlin tomorrow because they're not coming in this evening. And yeah, that were kind of me doing yard jobs, I guess. Um, I will film the rest of this video when I get home because I'm not 100% sure what I want to say yet. But sorry, there's not much pony content. Um, Sam's going to check the ponies now. And we will hopefully talk all things exciting later hey guys so it's now sunday um and i'm filming the rest of this video so sorry about that it's been a bit of a weekend there's been a lot going on that i can't talk about um family stuff but everyone is okay and that's what matters and um yeah i guess i need to try and film an outro for this video so first up how cute is my bad british farming um official polo it says the same on the back which i love Love these, dead happy with them. But what is going on? Basically, I'm having some technical issues at the moment with my laptop. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to get it seen in the next couple of days whilst I have some time off. But yeah, it's not looking good. It's been quite slow for a little while now. And it's literally everything from the mouse is reacting slowly to um, taking things from zipped files into normal files. So it's not even like it's the internet that's bad. So yeah, I'm a bit flustered about that. And... I need to get that sorted. We had our horse since we were fundraiser yesterday, which went really well. I think we raised about 160, 180 pounds. I need to just double check the maths, but I'm really happy with that. It's about 10% of India's surgery, so that's a huge help for the charity and a huge thank you to everyone who came. And I'm just kind of sit and try and get this all edited so that it can go up tonight so that I can focus on the two vlogs I need to film next week. But I think what I'm going to say is if you don't already head over to my other social medias which is Instagram and TikTok I will obviously put them there 
because that's where I post mostly, like the majority of my things. My Instagram is suitable for everyone, my TikTok is kind of a slightly older, like, mature audience because a lot of the trending TikTok sounds can be a bit sweary sometimes, but I'm kind of much of a muchness. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, thank you guys for supporting the channel as always. Don't forget to check out the links down below because that's got like my affiliate links in, it's got links to my socials and it's got things that keep you up to date. And yeah, I will see you next week with a new video because there should be two videos coming out from next week. So thank you for your support, I've been slow and I will see you all very very soon with some more regular and hopefully better quality content because I need to pull everything together and sort this out. Thank you for the support and I will see you all soon. One final thing before I go is if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like or comment and if you can subscribe because the majority of my audience isn't actually subscribed and if you guys can subscribe that can help me out because I am actually aiming to get to 100 followers by the end of summer so yeah if you could that would be amazing and if you see anything on social media if you could just give it a share because it's kind of a bit of a goal for me and just to remind myself why I'm doing this because I don't make money out of YouTube currently I don't have enough subscribers I don't have enough paid ads or anything like that so i'm working incredibly hard with the brands that i do work with just to try and get to that next level because that would be really really special to me so yeah thanks guys mm -hmm.